All right, this is just an update on my growth so far. These are the plants that I still have not transplanted. Got a lot of progress on my tomato plants. Look at that. Oh, these are coming up good. Coming up good. Look at all those true leaves on there. I like that. Uh, these are my green onions, my two green onions. This one was the first one I planted, the original one. And some of them died off, so I had to pluck some off. So now I only have four left in this one. This is the second set of green onions. How many do I have? 11. Uh, two still coming up. Yeah, look at that. Loves me some green onion. Loves me some green onion. All right. And <laughs> my two ones that I don't know which is which. Um, but I did look up some information on the internet. And I do believe that this one is the cabbage. The reason I say that is because, see, down at the bottom of the stems, they're kind of purple, reddish. Yeah, that looks like some of the pictures that I saw of cabbage stems. Um, look at all these true leaves. whole bunch of true leaves coming in. And the true leaves and the shape of the sprouted leaves are pretty much similar to this plant right here so that's why I have to go on the color of the stalks to distinguish them this one has no color on the stalks so that would lead me to believe that this one is broccoli also they're a little longer and leggier uh, than the other ones so yeah I'm pretty sure this is the broccoli a whole bunch of true leaves coming in but yeah I really need to go ahead and transplant it now that I think I know what it is because it is getting out of hand kind of leggy and I can just imagine what that root system looks like at the bottom I pretty much gave up on the spinach because still nothing has happened so I haven't gotten around to it yet but I'm just gonna dump it out and start over probably gonna stick with the spinach all right so let's go to our already transplanted plants look at that green uh, not green yeah green beans pole beans bush beans which one are these I think these are the bush bean variety uh, garden beans and look at how big it is it is amazing that I grew this with my own two hands being a first-time gardener all these true leaves coming in and still some more these two right here just popped up like in the last two or three days I remember because I was looking at them and they were this size right here honestly it, it, it was like two or three days ago that they were that size and now look at them and so, of course, as you can see, got some more coming in right there and a whole bunch of them coming in here. And some more, of course, coming in here. These are the cantaloupes. Got some more true leaves on those as well. I remember when I first transplanted them, I only had the one sticking out. Now it has one in coming out the middle as well. These are the watermelons. Also got some more true leaves. I uh, remember this because when I first transplanted them, the only thing there was these two original leaves and these two true leaves on the side, and they were much smaller. Now, as you can see, we got some more coming in the middle here. That's, yeah, that's, that's weird. Carrots. Look how big the carrots are, man. Well, some of them anyway. <laughs> some of them growing faster than the other ones. This one right here. Remember when I first transplanted them, the only thing they had was these two original leaves coming out. And then I gave you an update and there was only the one in the middle, like this one here. Now look at this one. This one has three sets of true leaves coming in. And it's very tall. This one is just about the same. It has two sets. And this one also has three sets. Nope, two sets, my bad. Uh, let me see if any other ones. Nope. This is the only one that has three set of true leaves. But they are getting bigger nonetheless. They're going at their own rate. But at least I know they're growing. And my poor little, little lettuce. Now the leaves are getting bigger. And they're still leggy because I did not transplant them deep enough. Um, mainly because I was going to transplant them again into bigger pots. I'm going to divide them up because... I thought that I had the uh, spring lettuce mix, you know, like the kind you can just pick. But honestly, I forgot that I had bought the actual head lettuce. So, yeah. 
this is definitely not big enough for five head lettuce plants <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna have to transplant those again when I transplant the tomatoes I'm just gonna transplant all three of them into one large pot the cabbage and broccoli I'm gonna get six more of these I have six broccoli plants and six cabbage plants two in each one all right so just in case you're wondering about the first set of bird slash butterfly seeds I planted here they are what's going on over there it rained today as you can see by my little puddles but I mean the the plants that are that are still here they're growing like wildflowers I think that's actually what they are a wildflower mix dumb Mary uh, yeah. they're still growing and of course like I said they're spaced out because the first rain washed all the seeds away but that's okay that's okay that's mother nature that's what it's meant to do but yeah they're still growing and I'm I'm sticking with my decision to leave this one in and to just do a separate one in a flower box all right then see y'all later